Uh, hey everyone, it's me, uh, Berserk, uh, back here with Fig Bunker again. You know, just shaking off them cobwebs, getting back at it, trying to release these more regularly, even though there's hardly anything regular about this. Um, today we're here to talk about Kickstarters, you know, crowdfunding campaigns. Um, it's brought a lot of people that wouldn't usually... Um, I'm trying blanks here. <laughs> we all know what Kickstarters are. So let's start bringing in the guests, uh, share their experiences, their advice. Um, first up, we got my main man here, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Are you, are you, is your mic on? Yeah. What's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, no, Jesse, Jurassic Jesse's right there in the name. Anything that has to do with dinosaurs, <laughs> you're in. And there's been some dinosaur stuff dropping, right? There has been, yeah. Actually, there's one going right now, Beast of the Mesozoic. So um, go go to Kickstarter and check that out because it's got some cool stuff in it. Not just dinosaurs, you know. It's got dragons this time, like cyber stuff, dino rider stuff. I'm in on that one, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. No, let's, let's help make Jurassic Jesse's dream come true. <laughs> oh, it's been funded. Oh, it, oh it's, it's like – it's on, yeah. Oh, it's everything, uh, everything. unlocking tiers and all that stuff now. Yeah. The last tier, because they, they have so. crazy stuff on there. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually they don't have a problem funding. Like people see the stuff and they're like, "Whoa, that's cool!" And so it speaks for itself. So congrats, David Silva and Creative B Studios. They're killing it over there. Nice. nice. Let's hope that continues. Next up, we got um, Cloud. Good evening. How is everybody? Good, good. Thank you for joining us. Like, you know, anywhere where you find a like a positive active fair community, I'll find Cloud. And that's if you know, whether it's legions or plunderlings, like you're always there. I try to go with the good vibes. It's less stressful that way. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, this is this is a hobby is for us to have a good time. You know, we, I have enough stress at work and other exactly. Stuff. Exactly. Perfect want to continue and last but not least we got brick hey folks hello 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 well thank you for joining me like you know i've always wanted to have you on here but you kind of beat me to the punch like you know uh, go back and watch the news episode on brick something's channel that i was on it was a lot of fun hopefully yeah, man, that was a blast people enjoyed me on there yeah, it was great. And then we kind of touched on a little bit of some sort of crowdfunding stuff there, too, because it's it's definitely like a thing now. It's part of the toy collecting um, game. So I'm happy to be here. And, and let's, let's let's get to it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. And who, who best to have than the, you know, unofficial Animal Warriors of the Kingdom <laughs> spokesperson? Unless you've already become, did they already reach out to you become official? Because God, I don't know what official means. I don't know that I, I it could be anybody's <laughs> official. No, we were talking earlier um, about the cons and everything, and and absolutely we were set to go to PowerCon next year. That was like, you know, Jason's like, come, come through, and then PowerCon, you know, threw a little bit of a swerve because of the situation. But yeah, I mean. Not official. Uh, I don't think either Adam or I were interested in be being official anything. Adam's highly articulated who I do the show with, but he somehow um, found himself in the middle of becoming pretty damn official. Uh, he he is help at spiritualist.com. Um, but, um, but yeah, no, I, it's just, I love this stuff. And that one in particular started with the, the Kickstarter and my my love for what they were putting together with that Kickstarter and um wanting more people to talk about it so it was kind of like well i guess i'll just sort of start making videos about it and uh so i met adam and anyway so the, the kickstarter thing is definitely in the um brick something um dna i guess so nice nice and i should definitely thank uh adam for helping me get my vero atlas that didn't come in with the first wave and i just that's one oh, cool thing so about good. these things that they're yeah. oh, there. Oh. That's a very atlas. See right? how smoothly Cloud was able to just move that thing? Because that thing moves like butter. They but do. Yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All right. So now that I've introduced you, um let's see. I'm 
uh, tell you, I'm rusty, rusty all over the place. We're kicking for Kickstarter. And first off, we start at the beginning. You know, first Kickstarter you hear, I know we've all been collecting different times, you know, gone out of different levels. What's the first thing that caught your eye? And I guess we'll start with, not me. <laughs> ah, selfish full screen uh, all right let's go um so it was a weird time kickstarter we didn't know too much about it uh, but yet we were in a covid world and we're all stuck at our computers doing nothing uh figuring out what we want to buy and lo and behold the mac daddy himself drops a spawn kickstarter <laughs> So uh, there were promises made, uh, fully articulated, you know, coolest uh, spawn figure you can ever buy, blah, blah, blah. Look at all these unlocks, real metal chains. Uh, he got us. Um, and Toddy, he, he got us really good because what was that? Over like one point something million, the, like astronomical amount of money that you raised for his Kickstarter. Uh, unfortunately the figure that we got wasn't what he promised but this is my spawn kickstarter of course this was my first introduction into kickstarter and it's been downhill ever since but um <laughs> i've i've meaning i've backed quite a bit um i'm kind of a veteran i guess at <laughs> kickstarters now um but yeah toddy mac he's the one he's he's the originator he got us all in and figured out what kickstarter is all about and honestly, you know, the figure's cool. Um, I wish it was a little, a little what he promised. Uh, we all do, but um, but yeah, this is the OG right here. He's the one that got me. What about you guys? All right, let's let's, let's continue it. Let's hear it, uh, Cloud. You remember your first one? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so to be to be fair. Um, the first one that caught my attention was Mythic Legions, and I just I thought it was cool to have like a like a fantasy kind of line with like elves and orcs. I, at the time, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't get behind it. I was like, you know, I kept thinking about it and thinking about it, and then it was over. So when this rolled around, like everybody else, I got very excited for what it was supposed to be. I don't hate it. Um, I just now realized he has toe articulation. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so clearly I, he went on a shelf and that was it. But um, it's cool. I, my brother and I read Spawn when we were very, very little. Probably too little to really be reading those comics. So it's important to me. It, it's a part of like how I grew up in the world of comics. Mm -hmm. So I don't hate it. I just, like everybody, I wish it was a bit more than, you know, closer to what he was. And he, didn't he... I think he said he was going to do a medieval spawn, and that just no. I heard nothing about that. No, yeah, no, it's there's pictures. He announced it at um, what was it, San Diego Comic Con? Okay. There's a, there was a panel, and he showed it off. It looks it looks really cool. So, oh, just just his past uh, one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Medieval spawn was a bit more. I'm, I can't do this again <laughs> with him. <laughs> I'm sure, it'll be cool, but. I won't yeah. get my hypes up until I see so, everything. Like you, Cloud. I, you know, I grew up reading Spawn. Spawn's a big part of my growing up in comics and all that stuff. So when it's like the classic Spawn type of stuff, like you got me, Todd. Um, but yeah, go check out that Medieval Spawn Kickstarter. Um, I will. He, yeah. sh he showed images. It's, it looks so dope. I will be backing it, it. This was technically the first one I actually took a took yeah advantage of but the first one i wanted to was the uh myth four horsemen's mythic legions way way so back. refresh my memory that was uh they were like incorporating a, a computer game or something with it right and oh, you mean recently? there was like no 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 way in the in the past like so, i don't know three years ago or something right oh yeah no they you know what yeah it probably was that long ago. They they are making a PC game called War of the Aether Blade, yep. and there was a yes. Kickstarter, and mm -hmm. there were yeah. builder figures involved, and there's like a map and everything. 
that's as far as I know, it's still well into um, production. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like 2015, I think, was mm -hmm. the very first line. So they've been uh, doing this for a minute. Yeah. And they were originally yeah, supposed yeah. to use, if you're familiar with the Galios line, they were going to be little and have uh, the swappable parts. And they yeah. went seven inch, which I'm very glad because that's more my speed. But I saw it. It was something ridiculous, like 42, 43 characters or something. It was obnoxious. But I just couldn't afford to do it at the time. And no. now, of course, being neck deep in the line like I am very recently, a lot of those older characters are well out of reach. And I'm kind of kicking myself for it. But So I wish I went back. But I'm not mad about the spawn Kickstarter. It taught me a lot about how the process works, too. So mm -hmm. going into new ones, I know what to expect. Nice, nice. Uh, definitely worse, you know, delving back and seeing uh, where it came from because three and three quarters, you said? Correct. Glyos, yeah, Mystic was yeah. supposed to be these little guys. Yeah, that's where you get the um, the pop and swap, right? Because like, Glyos is, it's a system that was created system, by someone yes. and Correct. they were going to build their figures around it. And it, it, it had the DNA of, of the pop and swap, you know, customizing figures, yeah. which. Exactly. I'm all then, about the systems, if you can't tell from the Lego. <laughs> the Goliath's figures were actually something uh, an old housemate of mine introduced me to. And he would get them on a website called Onel Design. Uh -huh. And he brought a, a bunch of them. And I swear I have like a bag of these things somewhere. And the arms and the heads and stuff would come off. And you could make different combinations. And as the line went on, they got a bit deeper with it. And that was what mm. Legions was supposed to be. And yeah. at its heart, I feel like it's still that being able to change heads and armor pieces. Like you can kind of like tear apart my entire collection and just build something completely different out of it. And I think that's wonderful. So it's, it's still there. I just, I prefer the actual proper action figure. And I feel like they get more detail in on these. They just look nicer. Nice, nice. I, I didn't know any of that, so yeah, it's, it's amazing how it goes. My, uh, my Mythic Legions knowledge actually won me some some swag on a uh, stream lately. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've seen your name pop up when uh, some of those giveaways. Oh yeah, always <laughs> quite lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's All useless right. information, but I guess it's useful to me. <laughs> All righty, and let's. Keep it going and brick. Um, yeah, the, the whole Kickstarter thing actually for me um, was something that I, I'd gotten into a while back before the action figure piece. And so I think in the past there was a, a local project here done by like indie film um, in sort of the Filipino community here in San Francisco, Daily City. And I was like, yeah, what's this way you're, you're raising funds through this website? That sounds cool. No, you know, I'll help out. And, um, and just the notion of like being a backer right and sort of like oh you get your name in the credits and i'm like oh but it's also this notion of like you're supporting these like independent creatives who don't have the benefit of like some giant investor or you know corporate corporate money or whatever but they're still able to produce a thing so in that case it was an indie film um and then later it was another uh documentary film uh in search of tomorrow i think is what it's called it was a sci-fi documentary and i was like yeah again same kind of idea it's like Hey, I'm into it. Um, I want to support it. You know, I probably end up buying the DVD anyway. So here, so I like that aspect of it. Um, I think it, it, there's a, the first sort of toy-ish related thing might have been the Star Wars vintage collection book by um, Blue Milk, I want to say. Um, but that was the book. So fast forward, I remember too, um, like Cloud seeing the twenty, the the early. 2015 i think again kickstarter for mythic legions and just being blown away that like oh these are the guys who did the uh who worked at mcfarland but did motu classics which i will say like that the way that line masters universe classics came about was was like the proto kickstarter right it was yes coming out of mattel but Mo mattel didn't really didn't have the intention of fully re-releasing in the mainstream and retail another masters of the universe line so um they went about it going directly to consumers doing this, this subscription thing right horsemen were involved they paraded this amazing sculpt of he-man to san diego comic-con and people were like what is that can we get that and from there they did this sort of subscription basis 
fast forward to, to um, the 2010s and they're like, we're doing our own line. It's a whole world. Um, and I remember watching it. I wasn't, I just wasn't in a position to, to um, be buying action figures. I think my, my oldest just turned four and my youngest was a year old. So we're like, oh, um, we're buying them toys right now. But, um, <laughs> but I was just amazed that they were doing it. And so it, to, to tie in with a the larger theme, like the whole Kickstarter thing really is kind is a big deal when it comes to toys, especially when it comes to what we're, we're sort of blanketly calling indie toys. And I want to say Four Horsemen were like innovators. Um, mm -hmm. They, as as Cloud pointed out, they released like mo like a ridiculous amount of figures. Multiple what we would call waves now were released in one uh, campaign, and they had that thing backed. And like, this is the thing about Kickstarter's. It's it's not only is it a way for these indie smaller creators to um, get the funds they need to produce the thing, but it's also like marketing and building up like this this core fan base that you know you'll be able to count on, right? These are folks who are early on saying like, yeah, I like the idea. I trust that you can do it. Take my money, cross our fingers, see you maybe about a year, maybe a year and a half, and you, you're gonna give us something good. With um, the Four Horsemen, there were no quantity. They had their other lines. They had Motu Classics. They had this pedigree of doing all sorts of toys, not just, there are many toys that we don't know of that are slowly being documented on their website that they worked on. Um, but nowadays, fast forward, I think the more recent one um, was um, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, which uh, you mentioned earlier uh, that I've kind of uh, become connected with because I just love it. And I think there was something about that toy line when I saw those toys. And again, I was in a position to be able to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm down to throw down for this thing. Um, I don't know Jason. I didn't know Spiro. I saw that they'd already had toys. And I was like, oh, those are kind of cool, but they're smaller. And I wasn't really interested in going back to sort of the 3.75 four inch but um learning a little bit about that and knowing that they had gone through a series of campaigns some that didn't work out and then eventually um being successful with that 3.75 that they were then going to come back with a six and a half seven inch line of these dope like anthropomorphic animals that are like you know, people go like, oh, it's Planet of the Apes, it's Thundercats. And I'm like, yeah, and the problem here is what exactly? Like, and so they've got sword and sorcery kind of thing, Gladiator, but they've also got lasers and muskets. And and then there was a comic. So that was um, the one that I was like, hey, this is dope. And this is an indie creator that I like, I want to support. I want to see more variety there like no offense to hasbro and mattel and that's great i've been like don't you can't be mad at me for all the money that i've given hasbro and mattel since i was a kid <laughs> but i'm interested in new things and i, I love what yeah. people like the four horsemen did and i feel like they really did sort of like pave the way for what we're seeing now and from there it's like you know it's the floodgates are open whether it's like d13 armies of ash more tyrozoic right it's just, it's coming, it's coming street humans, odious. It's like, ah, uh. but at the end of the day, we're getting these dope toys by these indie creators who are many of them fans like us, and it, it's exciting. So nice. Wow. Yeah, no, that's definitely the big thing, you know, just helping out people that, you know, don't have the, the resources to, you know, go forward with it. Mm -hmm. You know, right at the start. Um, do you remember the first one that you that you backed? Me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, the first um, the first action figure um, thing that I did that was actually just for toys was Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Oh. Um, and I, and actually, I didn't. Um, I got in late, so uh, it was through Backer Kit. So, which again is like, we'll get to later, maybe some advice and all that. But, um, but I wasn't even in a position to jump in when the campaign was live. So, um, and then after that, probably the one that I actually jumped in first for Kickstarter would have been um, um, Defenders of Eden, Armies of Ashmore, um, Jurassic adjacent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And up next would be me. And I don't know if this is going to sound familiar, but I actually got my first one right here. 
<laughs> Setting a trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that first, you know, McFarlane Kickstarter, it was unheard of. You know, we hadn't seen, you know, spawn figures and it was big back in the day. Like I remember being a kid and, you know, the 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 better off kids bringing it to school and being like, oh, like one day maybe, you know. <laughs> but um yeah, no, I just started it was early on in the pandemic, right? And this was new to me. And I didn't know some of the, you know, like like everybody, I would have wished that it had come with everything that was promised. But now I know to expect some of that when I'm backing, when I'm putting money towards it. So I, For sure. Yeah, it was definitely a learning curve, for sure. That's what I loved about it, honestly, see, because... <clears throat> because now, like, now that I look at, like, the pictures or whatever, I know that, some, like, this is an actual physical product, you know, that they will have to manipulate and get to work right and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It might not come out the exact same way that they're promising. So, yeah, that spawn really taught me that lesson <laughs> for sure. So since, since I'm the odd one out here, can I ask, and I don't know if this takes us on a tangent, but um, to what what what's the where's the gap where's the they promised this but this is what we got i mean without relitigate i just kind of like is it really like a, a wide divide uh, or? okay a little um, less statue than it is yes yeah. oh they promised it to be more articulated yes yeah, yeah. Big, um, got it the middle right so so there was a, a 3D render that he put out of like the articulation breakdown, everything. And it was, it was like, you know, straight pose with all the joints and like cut and all, all that. And then, yeah, what Ronald was just showing right there, it's, it's now a statuesque kind of ab torso. There's no cut in it. You can't get the crunch, you know, stuff like that. Um, Ooh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Um, it, that it one that one change would have made a world of difference. Oh, on this for sure. Too. Yeah. But, the, the, you uh, know. The well, what's really editor. odd to me, yeah, as someone sort of on the outside of this, is that, like, we were talking with Spiro. Um, Mythic uh, Four Horsemen had a background in action figures. But, like, um, you know, Armies of Ashmore, first time trying it. Uh, Wade doing Odious, first time trying it. Um, Shardimus, first time trying it. McFarlane's been doing action figures. So I would just say that is weird. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't following it. And that is really odd because I there was nothing like that happening with AWOC for sure. Like there wasn't that much of a, a gap. Right. Um, so I don't know. Shame on you, Toddy. Uh, that, that is a little, that is a little, that's odd. Yeah. Well, I think I think Berserk said it earlier. Uh, it was just like there was there's been no spawn figures for how how long? 10, 15 years. Right. And yeah. when when he announced this, it was like, you know, all this die diehard, you know, spawn fans just jumped on it. You know, we want a fully articulated, you know, Marvel Legends style, you know, uh, he got us. Yeah. Yeah. And I enough. didn't mean to pour salt on the wound. Just, <laughs> just was curious. Look, what was look, going on. All that aside, the the figure does look good on your shelf, and oh. that's that's what I like about it. So I'll put them on my shelf for sure. Yeah, no, for the price for the price he was asking for it, definitely. You know, I feel like I got my money's worth. Yeah, it came with but, a lot. It looks really good. There, yeah. it's just that one. It's the torso. If they would have straight, yeah. because he was also kind of leaning. So if they straightened mm -hmm. it out and put that diaphragm cut in there, because his arms, his legs, as I've just discovered, the toes, super mm -hmm. articulated. It's just that <laughs> that torso <laughs> kind of limits what you can really do with it. Yeah, that torso torsos matter because of body movement and everything. Right. right. Otherwise, it's like you can bend these things up, but if you're like, it's like exactly. you're in traction. Yeah, uh, what a bummer. Well, it's really interesting because, um, again, this is an established toy maker. And it's what's really weird is that uh, that's his baby, right? Yeah. This is like, this is what really launched McFarlane in this sort of like his creator own book. And to think that that's the one that, that kind of got away, even arguably more so than the regular figures, um, because 
I, I haven't had the best experience with McFarland toys. I, I have a bunch, but um, compared to some of the other things out there, but to hear that, that's less than their standard figures. Yeah. As far as, yeah. So, so sorry. That, that uh, may, hopefully that's just an oddity because I am curious. Have you ex anyway? I don't. I don't mean to, to ask. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of curious. So has it Todd like is a yeah. Todd's originally a comic book artist. That yeah. that's what he is, and yeah. um, he wants to see like a comic book on the shelf, right? He wants, that's why he did a lot of statuesque type of, type of stuff, you know, just ready to open out of the box, put it on the shelf, looks amazing, right? So he saw that, uh, he saw the 3D renders and all that stuff and was like, no, I, I want it, I want it more dynamic, you know, I want a dynamic look to it. And, you know, that's what, that's what he wanted and that's what we got, so. Yeah, I mean, dynamic look not the dynamic part got it right <laughs> right <laughs> and honestly like with the the plastic cape i mean you can't really get them into like you know crouching poses and stuff like that unless you remove the cape right which it's hard to do but you know there's there's third party or you know excellent soft good makers out there that can I, I purchased a cape myself and it looks phenomenal on it you know but if we just had that ab crunch I want to get them on like the cross or, or a, um, a tombstone or something crouched over with the kid. Oh, like Toddy, let's go, you know? Yeah, I'll be enough. If my timing is, if I remember the timing correctly, after we backed this later on, he released the Mortal Kombat spawn, which, you know, it's more in line with what we expected, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not for sure. Angled, no. No. It's what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, awkward because it is a Kickstarter. It is arguably the Kickstarter, I don't know, dynamic between the consumer slash backer and mm -hmm. the seller is really like it's different. It's not like oh, I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna pick a bunch of stuff and grab like there's a little bit more of a relationship. There's it technically communication along the way. This is what's happening. Mm -hmm. And so I can imagine it's it's just odd to me. I, I hadn't realized that 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 that's how that campaign went. But um, yeah, and you know, speaking of that, that's a cool thing about Kickstarter is you know you get the updates, you get you get the developer emailing you or whatever telling you this is where we're at, this is what it looks like, this is what's going. On. And I think that is super cool to be involved like that. Like kudos, that right there alone like makes me want to back it even more. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, yep. it goes more with like the issue that some people bring up where it's an indie dev indie creator that's trying to, you know, get funds to start the thing up as opposed to a company that's already established and should already. But, you know, sometimes they mm -hmm. just need that little extra push to do something that outside of their wheelhouse. Wheel wheelhouse. Yeah. I'm sure we put that word there. <laughs> 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 all right. And um, so, yeah, so we're all familiar with it. Any advice you guys would give to, you know? First time backers. Let's go. Same order. You, Jesse? Not All right, let's go. Um, yeah, my advice is it, it can be intimidating for sure. Uh, but if, like Brick something said, if you know you want it, like there's no harm in backing it because you're not going to get charged until that thing gets back. And, and you want to see these independent developers do good. You want to see cool stuff being made, you know? So with that being said, just dive in, you know, like Adam says, don't be a butthole, go back that thing, back <laughs> it. You have nothing to lose, you know, maybe in the future, you might not get what you want, but this was a while ago. Nowadays, you know, they have, they've taken note. I feel, you know, I feel like these toy developers are taking note. They see the mistakes that others have made or whatever, and they're trying to do better, right? They want your money. They want to succeed. So for first time backers, I'm just like, don't be scared. It's intimidating. But once you start getting the website down, seeing the reward unlocks and like you can adjust your pledges and do, you know, pick certain things and, it's really cool how they have it set up that you can do that. So don't be scared. If you want it, just do it. That's that's my advice. If oh, you yeah. can afford it. 
of course. Because <laughs> there's some expensive ones out there, and it's like, oh, you better talk to your wife first. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, then you got to explain the, you know, oversized box arriving at your front door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> but we all can. <laughs> <laughs> all right and coming up next in you cloud i think i'm going to kind of echo that statement really um a lot of what i've seen with crowdfunding or kickstarters in general is people want to wait i want to see how this is doing mm -hmm. i want to see what tiers are i want to see what unlocks are there is zero harm in getting into something early because you can always pull out Get in there early, get it funded. You know, if, mm -hmm. if you weren't interested in this thing, let's see it happen. So push to make it happen. Put in a back, put in a low bid just to get in there. They've it, every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. And then once they're funded, if like it's getting down to the wire and you're like, oh, I can't do this, it, you know, it's it sucks, but you can always, you know, pull out, you can change it, you can raise it, you can lower it. Um, mm -hmm. Even a bad example, but like Haslabs, back it early, get in there, get it done, get it funded. If you change your mind at the end, just uh, piss off then, I guess. But <laughs> if you if you see something on on any kind of crowdfunding platform, if it catches your interest, it's worth trying. You know, I've had I had one issue where there was a it was like a like a fidget kind of thing. And it had all sorts of like weird textures and sounds and, and sensations on it. It was a little device and it was perfect for my neurodivergent brain to help me pay attention to other things. And it was cheap. It was maybe like $15 and I backed it and I, nothing ever came of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it funded. I don't know if it failed. I never got my money back and that sucks. But I mean, it's it's a small hit to take, whereas something you know, and it was was something that was like kind of like all right, that's kind of cool. But if you look at like like Savage Crucible or the Meta Travelers, the one that just ended tonight, these things look amazing, and I want that. I want that to happen. Then do it. Just back it. Do what you can. You know, if if you can only afford to give them like twenty dollars because you believe in them, do it. If you want to get thirty figures, then do it. You know, you've got plenty of time to change your mind. So my advice is just get in early. Just do it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like um, a lot of the times that just keeps going, you know, they see that number go up and that's when they, you know, support it themselves. I've known a lot of people that, you know, we like, oh, back after it gets backed. Yeah, no. And there's really there's no reason because you're still safe. You can go <laughs> in early and then change your mind or, you know, I'm going to go in and then I don't want to do this. So you back out or I want to go in for you know this much and now i want this much because it's doing so well and i, I have faith in it just you know do something take, take it's better to regret something that you've done than to regret never doing something hmm. i always tell my wife that because hmm. it's true it's you know you did something you're like well i back to that spawn figure and it's not as great but it's kind of cool i did it i did a thing i got something out of it or you know Mm, I really wish I backed those plunder strongs because I'm looking at everybody's pictures and they're super cool. Which which means more to you? you just just go or, for it. Or you're looking at the eBay or something, going, "Damn, I wish I backed that." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I'd have my engine of vengeance right now. You know, right? I'm so I'm so, oh. so salty about mm. that. Oh, oh my like, goodness. Mm. <laughs> Moving like, on. Yeah. Ramen toys got yeah, ramen toys. On that toxic hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's, let's keep it going. You got anything for us, uh, Brick? Yeah, um, I think I think um, Jesse and Cloud kind of. I, I'll double, you know, triple check that. Just the notion <laughs> of like here, but here's the deal. Like again, this relationship is different. Um, in theory, you are backing. You're investing in this thing. So, um, you know, sometimes like we kind of forget kind of, the, I guess that's sort of like relationship that we have as collectors to the manufacturer. 
And so when you're going to like the store and you're buying, like you're a customer, granted, like, yeah, and you're one of like many, many, many customers for campaigns, specific types of campaigns, like your um, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, the primal figures, the newest line, or the um, uh, Armies of Ashmore, or the Legendary Meta Travelers, or um, D13, or Almighty Legends, some of like the newer ones. These, in those cases, they're brand new lines that mm -hmm. people have an idea and they want to sort of see if it has legs and see if anyone's interested. Mm -hmm. And so you have to remember that like there is a chance, there is a chance that um, they, one, won't get their funding. And if they don't get their funding, like the campaign ends, we move on. If they do get their funding, there is sort of what Cloud alluded to that maybe in some cases, the folks don't follow through that that uh, there's no way around it that sucks but that's also sort of the risk of like capitalism and investments kind of i'm not not washing away i think the the way you sort of check that and here's my advice is like make sure you know well two things one if you love it you love it like back a thing that you really want to see not like mm -hmm. oh i feel like buying something today i think i'll get that now maybe save that for target like the random target buy uh, or the entertainment earth by whatever but if this is your first time doing a kickstarter and this is a brand new company doing a thing like i would say like if you love it like consider doing it like that so just don't do it casually because it really is a different kind of relationship you are saying i i like this thing so much that i want to be a part of the the, the folks mm -hmm. who help make it happen i'm i'm investing in it I believe in it, like that that notion. And it is, it's a slightly different, um, it's a different dynamic. Um, and I think as as we kind of alluded to, you'll be able to get updates, right? And I'll tell you right now that it might take a year, it might take longer. So that's oh, part yeah. of the reason why I suggest doing it with something you love and just note that you are like you're a part of this thing. You know, I don't want to yep. be too romantic about it because at the end of the day, it's <laughs> They're making money off of what, but I think, but it's true. Like you're into this thing. I want to help see it happen. And they, they need the capital. Right. And so you, you are an important part of this process. So yeah. look at it that way because it, yeah, you might wait, but like, if you believe in this thing, the notion, like ideas will come like, oh, well, but I want it to be good. That yeah. might take some time. Oh, they ran into an issue. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Fix it. Figure it out. Um, so that that's my big thing is one you gotta love it two as far as just the technical end read it carefully because unfortunately kickstarter as a platform can be kind of confusing to some especially once you throw in things like backer kit and you're thinking about things like shipping um we live in a day and age where there are a bunch of nerds like us who not only collect but then we get on the internet and tell people about it and we share information whether it's on a channel or on a discord so talk to those folks right if you're unsure do do your research right you don't have to do this in a bubble here like wait how does this work where is this going to be shipping from that's a big deal right um you know like because uh, as you guys have alluded to have you all you've alluded to this notion of like we're often not kickstarting for one or two figures um sometimes are gonna be big boxes big boxes mean big shipping prices so just i would say really look into the the finer points of that and again if you love a thing and you're backing a thing i get that money is 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 really a challenge for a lot of people right now so i get that but if you're if you have the money set aside and you're really passionate about this thing just keep in mind as a backer to, to help make this thing that wouldn't have otherwise existed come into existence on your toy shelf, it might mean you're paying a little bit more than you would your Marvel Legends. And you might be paying a little bit more for shipping than expected. But it's good to like just be educated about it. Um, and I think that's where the whole like talking to people, being in community, yeah. that's what I love. Like I love being able to say like, yeah, 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 no, yeah. I, I was a part of backing that early. And like, oh yeah, I've communicated with the maker you know, like, oh, yeah, I've supported them. I've been in their chat or whatever it is. And um, I think that that kind of stuff is really special. I, I can't say yeah. that about Star Wars, like as a kid who was supporting like the, the Kenner line, you know, um, or G.I. Joe, whatever. But yeah. so, I mean, that's my advice. It, it is. It's a real deal, especially when you're putting in a lot of money. But um, I don't know. Right. You almost do kind of have to think of it like an investor. It's like I'm doing it because 
I'm not just buying a thing and then moving on. Like I'm, I'm helping make this to make this thing happen. So, yeah, I think that lack of instant gratification does tend to turn some people off though. It's like, wait, I have to wait how long for this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, think about how great it's going to be. You know, you get your money and now it's done. And then future, you gets a present one day on your doorstep. You're like, Oh, this thing is so cool. I'm so glad I did that. Mm -hmm. Good things take time. And Mm -hmm. we're just in that kind of mindset where it's like, now now i want this now i can get amazon tomorrow you know i can get this immediately and you know when's the next line of figures coming out we rush things we don't get the time to sit and really appreciate it and with something like a kickstarter program you get your little updates and you see the progress and you get excited that it's going to fund and that stretch goals are going to be hit and then they'll email you and say hey we did this and hey look here's a prototype and here's a paint sample and you're like oh it's getting closer this is so great i got so excited when they finally said we're shipping your plunder strongs and i'm gonna get as excited in a couple of weeks when they said we're shipping your plunder longs and i love it so it's it's worth the wait it's always worth the wait don't be so focused on what do i get out of this now it's like you're gonna get something great down the line enjoy Mm -hmm. the ride yeah yeah, if I can add to that, um, that's where the, the research comes into play of like, it is helpful to know, and it's all, it should all be in the campaign, like who's involved, um, what is their sort of thought about how they're going to get it done. They, they make the argument for you. It's just like an investment. Like this is who we are. This is our experience. This is our background. This is who we're working with. And um, I think that matters. So for example, like you just mentioned that the legendary Meta Travelers ended today. Like, on the one hand, you're kind of like, I've never heard of this. On the other hand, you're like, oh, wait, Four Horsemen sculpted and are helping with production of this. And like, see Jessam's doing the soft goods. It's like so much of those answers. It's like, oh, yeah. this is, if, you, if, if, you, if you're familiar with those things, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, this is going to happen. But like, there's, it would be really, uh, it would be a cold day in hell if this thing were to, to fall apart for whatever reason. So that matters. Um, so just, you know, do, do the homework and, and sort of like figure out who's involved. And um, that's not to say don't take a risk on, on new folks, um, but I think there's so much information out there. And again, talk to the community. They'll let you know, like they'll give you a sense of what you're getting into. Um, but I agree with Cloud, the payoff, mm-hmm. the payoff's different because you're like, yeah, I helped I helped support this. I thing. Was and a it, part of like, this, yeah. Yeah, it feels a little corny to say, but it's your kind of like, hey, like I invested in this. You know, it's like, I don't know. I, that's what I imagine like adults do talk about when they talk about their stocks. So sure. Um, <laughs> says the almost 50 year old man. But yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I got the pins to prove that, you know, I backed the plunder strong. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've heard the term thrown around, you know, vote with your wallet. If you want to see these, this company succeed, that's how you get them to, to get to the level where, you know, they don't have to do Kickstarter and they, you know, just drop, you know, reinforcements two waves out of nowhere. And start <laughs> get it. We'll ship it out on Monday. That was amazing. Yeah. So uh, break something, man. Next time I, I, I need some advice or something about Kickstarter, I'm going to come talk to you because, if I see something cool on Kickstarter, I'm just like, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> like, I don't even read it. I'm like, bye, 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 bye. So, <laughs> no, for real, though, I, I'm also <laughs> confused. You know, we were just talking about AWOC, and I know, uh, no, it's, it's pretty public. I think, you know, people have said, you know, um, Adam from Highly Articulated found himself as a fan and as a friend of Jason was like, yeah, I'm going to help you out with logistics. Cause, cause that was the one thing like, this is, these are very real issues. These, these are brand new, um, newish, depending on the company. These are people who are new to the game of making figures. And then the second part, it's not the making, it's the fulfillment. It's the mm-hmm. getting the toys to you. And it's no secret that um, Spiro struggled um, with the, uh, the the awesome reality that they were much more successful than they had ever imagined they sold way more i mean that campaign was wild it was fast it was so fast that they didn't they had to like come up with other like tiers or like uh army builders yeah you know it's like (laughs) so um so they weren't quite ready for the logistics of it and there was some sort of you know there was there were some issues with trying to like keep track of things particularly with international orders but also some domestic orders 
So um, uh, I think at the, what, oh, sorry, this is where I was going. So what Adam pointed out is that a lot of the, the stragglers, it's a lot of the concerns towards the end, not everyone, were people who literally thought that they, they were expecting a thing. They're like, you haven't sent me my thing. I ordered X, Y, Z. And so he would go through it and go like, no, no, you didn't. But like, no, but I backed this, this. And they didn't necessarily understand how backer kit went, that you actually had to go in after and say, these are the rewards that I want. Or like, oh, yeah, you you put money in, but you didn't say what you, rewards you wanted. Or, oh, you didn't yeah. respond to the email where you had to finalize your, your address. So there are some bits of it. And I will say Kickstarter isn't, especially backer kit, um, has, has they, they're not as clear as they can be. It's not as turnkey um, as it can be. So... That's the only thing that you just got to make sure that you're really like, am I actually getting what I need? Like with Legendary or with Cyberzoic, it was like you you back one thing and then you go back and add on other things. And I know for some people that's really confusing. So there's just like little things like that um, that you do got to read. Um, you do got to read through it a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. Or again, it's 2023. Like get on the Discord and someone's going to break it down for you. It's <laughs> right. More than to break it down for you. We'll give you like really in a very cool way. Those like, you know, check this out. Da, da, da. So yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, no, Discord definitely saved me from a few times overspending or you know, <laughs> clicking on the sometimes wrong it works thing. the other way too, but yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, usually usually my my go to is Chamba. Dude, Chamba okay. will tell me yes, no, don't do it, shoulders are garbage. Something like that. Like he's he's my go-to, or Drew. Drew Drew's my go-to too. Yeah, no, definitely. They they've helped me out before. Oh yeah. And um, you know, piggybacking off, you know, what Brick said. Yes, be prepared to wait. Like some of these are a little more. Some of these companies are a little more experienced. Like I backed two two campaigns back to back. After um, for one of them, you know, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. I already received everything. I already received the things like wave one and wave two. Mm -hmm. There was one that I backed like right afterwards. I still haven't received anything, but you know, I'm not gonna name the company, but they've they've given updates. So I, I see progress, I see stuff that's coming along. You know, I just have to I have to be patient, which mm -hmm. is not my strong suit. Yeah, but I feel like I know which one that is because <laughs> I backed it too. So <laughs> and um <laughs> And but then, I mean, you're, you're, you're not talking bad about them. Like no. it, it's just, here's the thing is they're more independent. They're learning and, 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 you know, like mold making and paying workers to paint it. And uh, like, it all takes so much, you know, for a little person to, or like, you know, an independent to do. So just like unparalleled universe, right. Is odious. Mm -hmm. I will wait. I will wait as long as it'll take. Because I want that figure to be freaking awesome. Yeah. And he's, he's shown us the things, and I cannot wait for Wade's Unparalleled Universe to get on my shelf, fully articulated, soft goods. I can I can wait. I, I mean, I, I can't wait, but I can wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can wait for perfection. So I don't, um, I don't know what company you're talking about, but just um, so I'm not carrying anyone's water for them. I genuinely don't know who you're talking about, but I will say if it's a comparison to say Animal Wars of the Kingdom, that was like not even their second campaign because the first time that, that Spiro went, it wasn't successful. Then they did the 3.75. So they had experience making figures. It was just a different format, but they had experience designing, yeah. doing the molds. They've been in it. All overseas. Yeah. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's it's different to, you know, it's like, it's, it's hard to compare that. Um, yeah. But I will say, Yo, we're modern toy collectors. Like, we're talking about Kickstarter. Like, you be prepared to wait. Like, yep. I pre-order stuff all the time. That's not a Kickstarter. Guess yeah. what I do? I wait. It's kind of become mm -hmm. the game. So that part of it, I feel like it has um it's 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 a little bit different. Sometimes you wait longer, but I I want us like, you know, there are established companies that have released nothing for years and they don't update anyone. So yeah, no, that's the yeah. major thing. Updates. Like I we need to know that. Like Sometimes you start wondering, like, it's, it, you know, do they remember about me? Yeah, <laughs> they forget about us. <laughs> Is it me? Did I do something wrong? No. <laughs> like, maybe I forgot to click on that email. Things like that. Um, another one that I don't think anybody brought up, but 
also be wary of what you're backing because there's some things that I've seen pop up that are complete. They have red flags all over them, and I'm just gonna. Nobody even knows who they are, but Omega Studios, they came up with a campaign. It was, uh, I forget the name of it, but it was, it was basically werewolf figures. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before NECA did theirs and we've got a few of them coming out, but they did werewolf figures and they had, you know, female werewolves, which were, you know, what they were heavily touting. And, uh, they were asking for 20,000 to make a whole wave of them. And, uh, you know, the, the guy has never had never released anything. He he had no online presence. He didn't go on any of the, you know, any of the YouTube channels to try to promote it. It was, it just had all these red flags. And I just remember, you know, asking people yeah. like, "Can you see this?" Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the thing backed because it, it only needed twenty thousand. And as soon as it backed, they they left. They were gone. Nobody's heard anything of that campaign. Oof! Wow. And. You know, those red flags there. If you would have asked anybody, if anybody would have, you know, gone out of their way to ask somebody, like, hey, what do you think about this? It would have been, yeah, yeah, yeah. get in the Discord, right? Right, Rick, yeah. something, yeah, 20, the Discord. for a wave. No, thank you. That's, <laughs> that's too like, low. Talk to Chamba. <laughs> yeah, and like what you said, like now we we have through our channel have built this circuit that they they travel through and they go through, and like, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're not seeing them. Because that is a level of accountability. It's like, no, I saw that person and they talked on this channel. They talked, you know, it's like they're, these are real people and they talk. Um, and yeah, I feel like you'd also get a little bit of sense of where they're coming from when you hear them talking and be passionate on different channels. So yeah, that is a, that's a weird red flag. Yeah, definitely. So just be aware of that. Um, if it seems too good to be true, chances are. It probably is. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious. What was it called again? Where to get oh, to What's up? What was it again, sir? I'm curious now. Yeah, Omega. If, it, if it seems too good to be true, he, chances are it might not be true. <laughs> oh, I'm the, sorry. Was there, I told on what was the name of what was the name of the company? Omega. Omega Studios. Are you looking at them on Kickstarter right now? I'm just curious. I've never I've never heard of it. So. I'm having learning about Spawn okay. today. I'm learning <laughs> Spawn about of Spawn Monsters. Where people see. ran away with their I think I remember this. Did, oh, did, those are you cool skulls too. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Um, if you need a werewolf figure, just just go get that. Uh, what is it? Pure Toys. Veteran uh, William. Veteran oh, William. That's that's all you need. <laughs> or, or just wait for. Uh, is it Pure? I can't remember. What's it's uh, Pure. Yeah. Yeah. But this has to, this does have but it, women. Women. But if the, yeah, if it, if there's women werewolves, like that'd be dope. I'd be down. I'm pretty Let's sure that's go. where they got most of their money, but they, they didn't get any of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's an Anubis. Oh my gosh. Oh, anyways, yes. Moving on. Shame. Let's go. Shame. Shame. Yeah, and, and you know, I I don't know this guy. The guy just disappeared from the face of the earth, but. When we eventually get the uh, the cursed dead, and they come out with the were werewolf, mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna get that. I know mm -hmm. it's gonna be in my hands, and it's gonna exceed my expectations. Or else, Adam. <laughs> or else, <laughs> yes. you, know, <laughs> you know where to find you playing with yourself all over the internet. Yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. <laughs> and then moving forward, um, favorite back campaign. Mm -hmm. So we've. We've talked about a few, some of them have stood out. Which ones did we dive into and when we got them? You know, exceeded our expectations. We're blown away. What are we looking forward to? Okay. Same order. Same order. I'm yeah. up. Okay. Then, yeah, in the in the order you guys jumped in. Okay, so um that's a tough question. Uh, because like most of my backed things are like in production right now so <laughs> so i can't really answer that um like high school creations i want to see that wall xd let's go baby um invincible toys you know, like future combat combat soldiers um what else we got odious uh can't wait but i can wait <laughs> um 
uh, what else? I, I'm just drawing a blank, but there's plenty others. Um, so I did back, obviously, I these the Mesozoics, you know, um, these are a lot of fun. Um, but they're learning, you know, he's learning, David Silva's learning. Um, I wish it was like softer plastic so we can get a little bit more movability out of them. Um, so I'm not going to say they're the greatest, but they are cool to look at, right? Um, these little guys, like the Tyrannosaur series, uh, he did the, uh, you know, uh, herbivores and the Velociraptors. But what I think I, what I got to say so far is the Spiro Toys AWOC. Um, you guys talked about it earlier. Their articulation is like butter. Like it is fun to play around with. Uh, tons of different weapon options. The accessory packs that they came with alternate heads i mean it's just they look cool on your shelf um a lot of posability playability shelf presence it's all there so i think this one might be the one for me nice uh, animal warriors of the kingdom so far right because you got more stuff coming in i mean let's see what happens when when things show up you know but as of right now that's about it I wish I backed the um, the Mythic Legions uh, a long time ago, but yeah, no, me too. I, I did not. Uh, those those <laughs> figures are going for big bucks now. Right? <laughs> All right. What you got? What you got? Um, probably gonna have to agree with you. Um, I'm really enjoying the Plunder Strongs. Let's see, I've got my little friends here with me. Yeah, so cool. Oh, I had them sitting. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, I really like these guys. They're they're chunky, so they're a little unwieldy, but the joints are pretty solid. Um, I I have hip issues with my my big orange guy, but um, I should have brought him down the the drench, the guy with the tentacles for his legs. Mm -hmm. He is so cool. He's got like the little grippy tentacles, so he could put swords and stuff in his hand. He's awesome. I really like him. But as far as something that I can really play around with, I'm going to go Animal Warriors. Yeah. As everybody has said, the joints on these things are fantastic. Um, I love the designs. This is one of my favorites right here. I love his little staff. Uh, the accessories are great. The extra hands are great. I can get them into crazy poses. They're I think they they're probably going to top my list just because of how much fun I have just posing them mm -hmm. and taking photos with them. Uh, I did back the legendary that ended tonight. And I only I went too. for like three figures because of other expenses. I had to slowly kind of cut down what I was going to spend on this. And once the mythic legions reinforcements dropped, I was like, all right, I, I can do just the three. And that's it. And I th actually thought it was ending next week. Oh. So my wife was like, oh, $100 at Kickstarter. And I was like, shit. <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> but um, and now I just, I have to go through the arduous task. of. I narrowed it down to four. And that took me a very long time. And now I have to narrow it down one more. I don't know what I'm going to do. But thankfully, like a lot of these Kickstarters, we have places like Big Bad Toy Store. We'll pick them up as well. Get them down the line, pay for them later. But so I'm I'm very excited about that one. But like from what I have here to play with, Plunder Strong is a close second, but Animal Warriors for sure. A good, very good, fr very old friend of mine works with them, and I'm sure he would appreciate me bumping the company. So <laughs> there you <Yeah>. go, Derek. <laughs> nice, nice. All, all stuff, you know, drop this here impress me when they showed up when I got those big boxes at my door. Oh, yeah. Let's see where we're going. Next up, we got Brick. I mean, I do have a show called A Walk Talk um, <laughs> where we break down the comics because what, uh, what I need people to know is that the story and the lore behind the thing is just as awesome Fantastic. as the toys. And it gives you a great tease of what's to come. And I'll tell you right now, I have it on pretty good authority that there's really great things just around the corner. So 
Um, yeah, so hands down, it's AWOC, and I'm embarrassed to say I don't have any in hand because I had to do some um, cleanup uh, for house guests. So, but I love them. I, I have way too many of them. <laughs> um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like instant collection, right? Instant line because of the way that, that things dropped. Um, but they're fantastic. You all mentioned um, the designs, the sculpt. Um, we just interviewed um, Utama Prasta, who was the uh, artist for the both the the initial turnarounds and the working with Jason to sort of figure them out, and then the comic book, super talented. And you see it in these in the in the love that's sort of in these characters, as well as like in the accessories. Um, what I really loved about that campaign was um, pretty early on they were showing them side by side with. Um, figures that I love and I kind of um, you know we talked about Four Horsemen earlier and Mythic Legions with a pop and swap and that's a big thing for me again like Lego and being able to customize your toys is definitely in my DNA um, hence the the brick um, but so um, yeah with with Animal Warriors of the Kingdom um, there's still some of there, there's a lot of that like so what they showed with the uh with the initial campaign, they showed you like Masterverse figures wearing the armor and, you know, other Mythic Legions next to them holding the weapons, although their, their weapons do have kind of like bigger handles. Um, so I love that part of it. Um, yeah, so it's great. Now, uh, I'm with everybody else in that no other Kickstarter that I've backed has um, delivered yet, but I'm absolutely looking forward to sort of seeing what armies of Ashmore end up like being. Uh, I'm also a little scared because those are big, chunky, heavy figures. And I'm kind of curious to see how much they're going to ship for. But um, but those are great. Uh, so I'm excited about those. And then uh, with Legendary, that's one of those where it was like, I honestly like, oh, there's... I love the idea of them. I think I'm glad there's a new line. I was kind of more intrigued that um, Four Horsemen were involved and doing figures that are definitely a different aesthetic than what we see from them. Mm -hmm. They tend to be a little bit more sort of like classic in their approach with silhouettes and design and a little bit more subdued, which is funny to say, but subdued in terms of like the design that I feel like many other designs are kind of like, a little, I would argue a little bit more timeless with the legendary, for my, for my eye, they're, they're kind of a more is more kind of approach to the design. It's like, you know, weapons and color. And so uh, I only ended up getting two because um, I do want to support and um, odious looking forward to that. Um, and then uh, Cyberzoic. I didn't back these um, as Kickstarters. So I, I bought this after the fact and this thing, the level of, of, um, detail in this thing the paint and the sculpt it's it's like four horsemen right i hear what you're saying about the plastic for sure um and yeah that's the thing with these companies as they continue on they're they're gonna improve but like the the details of like the bendy wire tails are just so fun and all the different joints i can get some pretty cool things with these and um the the idea that it's again i can trust or have some sense of what's coming because essentially they're they're roughly the same dinosaurs with just armor. And um, I don't know, like if they're gonna put this level oh. of detail and attention into those armor that can then transform. Oh and, my gosh. And don't even get me started on the dragon. Ever since I saw it like a year and a half, <laughs> a little more than a year and a half ago, oh. it was like, here's this thing. I oh, did too many videos talking about that thing. And it felt like, just like this weirdo was talking about this thing that doesn't actually exist yet. But yeah, um, yeah. the level of Bro. paint and when I saw that dragon, I knew immediately I had to, I, I was in like, yep. as soon as I think as soon as I kickstarter launched, I was like, boom, yep. done. Boom. Didn't read anything, brick. Nothing. Yep. I just I went. Boom. I'll be honest. I didn't either on that one. <laughs> and I thought I was soon, but I was number 83. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Not, not as fast as I thought, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. like, but Todd said it too. Um, it's, there is, I don't, I, I don't like saying this because it is a little weird, but but there is an out. There is an out uh, of these things um, until mm -hmm. they fight. So yeah. Um, but but yeah, it is help. It, so it's a weird thing because it's a catch twenty two. On the one hand, you don't want to back out, but on the other hand, it actually is helpful for the campaign for people to back early. So you know, yeah. I'm sure the companies understand that. But these things are amazing. My only gripe, my only critique 
uh, actually it's a, probably a good thing is that their figures are small. So that, that just, they basically made it easy for me to save some money <laughs> because if they were bigger, yeah. like, talk about big, big boxes. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a big boy. Like if you pack early enough, there's less of a chance of you backing out you get in, you start to take the journey you see how it's going mm -hmm. and you become mm -hmm. more and more invested and more and more interested. Yes, so right. I think that would absolutely help sway people who may be on the fence, get in it and take the journey with them, get the messages and the updates, mm -hmm. go on the social channels, go on YouTube, go on discord, whatever, and follow along and know that you are a part of that and yeah. see if it kind of helps give you that kind of, Oh, this I'm glad I did this kind of mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah, and I will say, like, um, the quality of these toys, like, as we move into this sort of new era, I've heard people refer to it as the, the toy renaissance, but, <laughs> like, where, where the, the fans are now the creators, right, in many ways, and again, Four Horsemen, we keep saying them, but there's a reason, because that that's what they did, right? They, they were in the industry, but they're also fans, and they've had all this experience, and they did their own thing, but they did it in a way where, like, as a fan, they're like, we want you to be excited about, like, what you get like we want the sculpts to be on 11 the paint to be on 11 sorry that's an old movie reference uh spinal tap for anyone um <laughs> turn it up just, to 11 huh <laughs> yeah just like um so that i mean that's the thing with a lot of these including i would put um beast of the mesozoic and uh and creative beast studios in and cyberzoic in that uh category these aren't things that like i don't think a Mattel and Hasbro would do. They just wouldn't commit to the level of like revisions that it takes to do this and the commitment to be like, no, this is how you're going to paint it. And no, we need it to be exactly like this. And like, yes, we're crazy to say that this is like, I don't know how many, like eight, like ridiculous amount of colors with a bunch of different apps. Um, you know, they're, they're, this is their baby. They're a lot closer to the actual toys than the person you know, holding the purse strings at Hasbro it is. Yeah. And so as a result, we we get something new. And you know what I forgot to say, and I feel bad. Savage Crucible. Like, I don't know why that I haven't. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, Cloud's got the shirt. Like, um, I backed that one heavily. I, and that was one of those things where they were talking about it for the longest time. Um, and again, um, Rob was running um, MAFC, which was like producing awesome sculpts and parts for uh, Mythic Legions. And so it was a known quantity. We know like the level of detail that he as a business owner was wanting to put into the products that, that bore his sort of like name or whatever. And so um, we saw all of the, the people that were involved, the pedigree of the, the sculptors involved, the painters, um, you know, so it's like with um, Nikki Nicole in there, like one of my favorite customizers, just like, oh my God, this thing's gonna be amazing. So I, I backed that really heavily. And I, I would say that we wouldn't get that toy line or armies of Ashmore. These are just things that I don't believe we would get otherwise. And so I think that's what you're kind of getting into with a Kickstarter. It's like we we wouldn't get it without you being able to step up and be like, I'm gonna back this. Yeah, bro, I got a I got a custom head from Nikki Nicole. Mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, oh man, yeah, it's <laughs> <Sorry>. amazing. <laughs> like, All of these toys, it amazes me how the the paint and what people can do, and then to see them like her doing these like customs, and I, I, I try and like always go to and, and send the videos out of like the times when she's been in the studio, like painting heads and just mm -hmm. the process it's like it's fascinating um yeah and just yeah magic it's take skill. my money hard work and talent <laughs> skill is what it is yeah no you definitely get to know the people you know behind the campaigns all right and what's your favorite my Berserk? favorite uh got a few come in you know that stand that stood out for me you know i'm pretty sure yeah, <laughs> I was trying to reach for this one. <laughs> like it's just like twenty twenty three is like my year of beefy figures, and this is one of them. It's a lot of plastic. 
It's yeah. a lot of plastic. I've got a lot of plastic coming in this year. <laughs> but this one, I remember as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I, I got to get multiples of them. That is a chunk of a figure, and his articulation does not really suffer for his size. Oh, yeah, no. The the, the positions I want, you know, a big, beefy gorilla to be in, it reaches it. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to have him doing Spider-Man poses, but, you know, <laughs> swinging that hammer, like, he gets, he looks good doing that. So I got Animal Warriors of the Kingdom right there. You know, my most recent one right here. Mango. Hi. Just on the name alone and the fact that he's wearing a luchador mask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, all the plunderlings are they're really cool. I have some up there, top shelf, top shelf material right there. Whoa. Yeah, they're above my door. <laughs> <laughs> the colors on those things are amazing. The yeah. only one I have is like a, a bright pink fawn. I love, love the colors. Yeah, no, and all these different colors, kind of you know, kicking myself for not having back the original one with the uh, was like the the gold one, the all gold one, the cursed. Um, yeah, I'm bummed I missed out on those two and the original drench. But when yeah. you get them all up on a shelf next to each other, especially once the the tall guys come in and there's the different sizes and all of the different colors. They just they look they make such a for a for such a fantastic display. Yeah. They're just bright and fun and just neat to look at and neat to hold. So I made sure to to get the Kickstarter exclusive. I know there's gonna yep. be more that I uh let me I'm sure there's gonna be more that I get um you know through BBTS. Oh they yeah, no, they did a really great job packing these. No issue. <laughs> You know, I, I think I went for six plunder longs and three plunder strongs, and I thought that was a lot. And now I'm looking at the other ones and like, kind of wish I got those too. That's the one right there. Oh, that yeah, that guy's really cool. His eyes glow in the dark too. Oh, that's gonna creep me out at night. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those those two. Um, hmm, anything worth shouting out? Got this one too. Went in first wave, but you know, I liked what they were doing at the time. Which one's that? Uh, Valiverse. Oh, the Valiverse. Okay, I got you. Yeah, Valiverse, Action Force. But... That's a uh, Condor. Yeah. Gotcha. One of the first waves. Uh, I had issues with it. I reached out. They got me replacement parts, but after that, you know, you got to vote with your wallet, right? Yep. And um, anything else I. I actually do like this guy. Like it's the yeah, it's not terrible at all. It's just not what we thought it was exactly going to be. not what I was. Yeah, but looks good on we... your shelf. Yeah, and you know after getting this one, they started real hard with the all the spawn figures, and I have a whole shelf dedicated to them. Yeah, and then this is not the. That's a cool this looking figure, great. though. Yeah, but once they <laughs> come out with the Kickstarter, oh, well, uh, that one. Let me show you mine. <laughs> that totally brings me back. Uh, what are we looking at? <clears throat> All right, so Ronald. All right, I'm sorry, Berserk. Um, what you need to do is you need to get on Maxbird oh. and and get the uh, soft goods cape. Uh, up here, because look at that! Woo! Like, mm. boom! It just it just adds another dynamic, and then you know it comes with the um, the shield and the axe, and then the the wired chain and stuff like that. It just looks. Mm. Looks beast mode on your shelf. I want to give it a wash, you know, <laughs> accent some stuff. But like, wh- oh. why does your uh, medieval spawn look look so much chattier than mine? Yeah, <laughs> right. And then uh, I I got this one with the you know the, the cape. Wow, damn. Jesus, this this thing looks awesome on the shelf too. Is that, is that can, pleather or what's that? Is that pleather? Yeah, dude, it's uh, yeah, it's like soft pleathery feel, mm. and it's just like it's got this. I I could send you a link for it, but um, I don't even know if they make them anymore. But Drew and I jumped on as soon as we saw this cape. We're like, oh, we're getting it. So, 
but I could put this on the Kickstarter, but like removing this plastic one, like they, oh, yeah. they put it on there. So yeah, they did. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, then it's like, it's not coming back on. Yeah. And if, if it had ab crunch and, and I could do what I wanted it to do this cape, that's why I bought this cape was to put it on this. But then I was like, Rob, yeah, no. So <laughs> I put, put it on other ones. So, but it's so strange because like that is so much of the character yeah. mm -hmm. that cape and those chains and they're alive right they move and oh, what a weird choice but okay but check, right but like <laughs> it's this, on the max bird it's all like wired and stuff like that that you could pose it however you want i i just wish that like that material was was this material but it still looks great like no complaints yeah, but, they do great stuff. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, no, I'm definitely Anyways. gonna a link for that. <laughs> to build on a, a point you were saying, Ronald, you were saying I'm sorry, Berserk, you were saying um <laughs> that sure. you uh went for the Kickstarter exclusive. As far as like if you're new to Kickstarter, that might be something you consider. Like if there are figures that are exclusive to the campaign and you're already back in the campaign. It's really like you should um, consider, I would just say, just do it. Get the, the Kickstarter exclusive because that's the one, um, like the, the the thing with the Kickstarters is that they are, uh, well, sometimes they go to BBTS and they make larger numbers, but they're already like smaller run, right? So as far as the aftermarket, if that's like your thought process, um, it's more likely that there's going to be less figures out there. So potentially they're going to, um, you know, keep their value or, or then some, but the Kickstarter is exclusive, Kickstarter exclusives even more so, right? Because um, that's really limited. It's not going to be elsewhere. So at least in theory, um, anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because yeah, you, sure. you mentioned that in passing. I don't know. Is that something you do all the time or? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Like the Vero Atlas, that was an exclusive too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was one of those weird ones. Jason, what's up, Jason? No, that because it was it was available at uh, at Big Bad, but um, yeah. Is you, Rock, is Berserk is yours signed? You have a signature on yours? On my what, Vero Atlas? Yes. It on the actual figure itself or the box? No, on the box. No. Usually in the front left. You should have two. No. Of yeah. Front. Mine was signed. Left. Dang, and I got that two a signature. Of I thought. I don't think the other one signed either. Actually, the other one huh. I opened and I threw away the box. So <laughs> if it was signed, you know, it does not. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder. I I asked that because I wonder if it's even a more exclusive. Like per you know, you funded this. Here, this is your reward. Like sign, thank you. You know, and that's really cool that they want to do that type of stuff. You know, yeah, no, it's more personal. You know, those, those exclusive things like um, with Plunder Strong. I got a bunch of pins, so not exactly. <laughs> Only the people that that back they got them. Yeah, yeah they yeah. threw them in because they they were upset about the delays, so they kind of put them in every backer's box Good. to go out. I was I was really hoping to get the the purple guy with the hammer because that's my wife's favorite, and no luck. But it was cool to have those <laughs> in there. They're in a little bag, so figure out something to do with them. So you guys heard if, if anybody has the purple one with the hammer, you know, just reach out. Cloud network. <laughs> um, I'm I'm looking for cheddar. You know, mm. the purple one with them or oh, the orange one with the mohawk. Yeah, this little guy who doesn't have his mohawk right now because <laughs> he's, he's being assaulted. <laughs> oh, magnets. I didn't magnets. think that would work. I thought they'd be too heavy. That's great. Oh, the hands have magnet magnets too. So. The hands in the muscle crate, there's the there's the walloping ones, and then there's ones like this, uh -huh. the little pinkies out so they can hold like the tiny cups. Oh, but these have so magnets cool. in them, and it's so they can they have their hold hands. the cannonballs. Yeah, yeah. But my cannonballs don't have magnets in them. So they're sending me a replacement. But uh, I got them to pick up a, a hatchling, and I tried with one of the plunderlings, and he was too heavy. And I'm just over here messing with stuff, and it worked. He held him up. <laughs> yeah, they've got magnets in there. The That's awesome. That's cool. They're just fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, that's the main thing, you know. Enjoying them once you get them. Let's see. Then we got another subject here, you know, current, upcoming, slash, upcoming campaigns we're excited <laughs> about. I know right now, as we're recording this, there's some that are going on, some that just ended. Anything we want to highlight? Or yeah, Jesse. All right. Hey, look, you actually go. came out first. <laughs> I, um, I suck. I didn't really do my homework. I know I got a lot on Kickstarter. I should have looked, um, <laughs> but, um, what I, what I'm most excited for about the current ones is I could wait for odious. <laughs> I'm super excited for that one though. I just want to see Wade succeed. I want to see that just, I want to see his toy journey just explode. You know what I'm saying? So I'm rooting for him. Um, I want my wall XD. Like I'm really hoping for that one to be a banger. Uh, we all need some dy dynamic dios, you know, for our figures. And I think that he's going to kill it. So I'm waiting for that one. Obviously Savage Crucible backed a few of those. Um, can't wait to take pictures of those because they look awesome. Um, but my most excited I got to go with Cyberzoic. I have to because that dragon and the Dilophosaurus, I, I cannot wait to get my hands on those, bro. They're like, you know, that's, that's my childhood dino riders, you know, and like, like stuff as detailed as this with cannons and like riders and like, Oh, it's hitting all the buttons for me. Like I cannot wait to get those. So um, I'm definitely back those um there's a few that i'm kind of debating on like if i want to or not like so i i backed the legendary or what is it legendary yeah um yeah i backed i backed one and i forget the name of him just like a demon beast looking dude he looked cool he looked like he can go in with my legions and the reason why i backed that one is a uh the four horsemen, obviously, uh, pop and swap, all that stuff. But I wanted to be a part of what it is. I want, like, if this is new and this is going to take off, like, hey, I was in it. You know, I got, I got the one I wanted, and we'll we'll explore from there. But most most of the time, when I when I back something personally, it's it's a I want to I want to see whoever's doing it succeed. I want I want their cho toy journey to rocket into outer space. I want to see this guy succeed. B is because series two, series three. What what else you got? What's you know what's in the canon? You know, uh, Brick something saying that uh, AWOC's got some stuff, and I I don't I think it might be vehicles. I think I'm not gonna like I want to ask you, but I don't. Um, but I think that would be said dope. Just so you know, he said no to vehicles. So oh, damn it. I'll, I'll let you off on. the hook. I'll, I, I, come I, I, on. I, 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 since that's already out there, sorry. But just since uh, it's out there. Series four, mean, five, eight. I don't know. Let's just get something, right? I don't know. Because um, <laughs> yeah. they got vehicles. So, um, But anyways, yeah, uh, I'd have to say Cyberzoic is my number one. They're killing it over there. Um, I love dinosaurs, so they're hitting all the buttons for me. Um, until like i mean mythic legions they just drop they just drop all the time uh they're not kickstarters so like they got my money over there but kickstarters it's got to be beast uh beast and mesozoic cyberzoics i rambled sorry i was excited <laughs> Go ahead, always talk. great to see somebody get excited <laughs> yeah you know we'll, we'll be watching your unboxing rip into it right mm -hmm. <laughs> uh i'm probably gonna go with the legendary um mm. i don't have a lot as far as like kickstarter goes um i think i'm most excited because it's new it's exciting it's the most recent thing mm -hmm. just finished i just got my email like hey expect the backer kit email soon um it was the fact that four horsemen worked on it, it was the fact that c jessam is doing the cloth goods and the character obsidious has this massive spawn like cape that's the, that the one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I backed. Yeah. 
that was my immediate first choice. I'm like, no matter yeah. what else I get, I'm getting that one because 100%. that cake is ridiculous. Yeah. I even reached out to them. I'm like, that's going to be cloth goods, right? And they're like, yeah, 100%. So that's just yeah. insane. So very excited for that character in particular. But I, I saw early in the campaign, people were talking about it, especially in the Mythic Legions Facebook group. People were starting to talk about that because of the involvement. And just seeing it, I got more and more intrigued. And then they were on our streams and they were on YouTube shows. And it's just seeing how passionate they were and all the ideas that they had for it and like the different designs. And mm -hmm. I remember going in and thinking, I really hope they hit all those stretch goals because the guy I wanted was well in. Yeah. And it funded and they were like, guess what? They're all available. Yay! And I got more excited. So I think just because that's the most recent one, that's probably what I'm the most excited for is that line. I'm very excited to see them at Legion's Con with the prototypes. Thank you. Oh, yeah, definitely. God, can't can't come soon enough, right? Legion's Con yeah, is going dude. to be expensive for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. And for you, Brick? Uh, the single item that I am the most excited when it comes to Kickstarters is the Arctic Dragon by Cyberzoic. That thing to me is just, I just can't believe that, that I'm going to get that in toy form. It's so gorgeous. Like the overall design, the, the, the way they visualize the dragon is I, I just, I, I love it. It's so unique. It's very like Griffin E dragon, mm -hmm. just beautiful colors, white purples like so that's the single item the the line savage crucible um and that's one that i backed early that's one that i was clocking early that i was like man they keep showing these amazing like characters are doing and animals and so i want my you know my fish people my lizard people my yes frazetta people my yep. barbarian like mm -hmm. give it to me um so Preach. that's the one Preach and then when when we see the articulation so um myth, uh, sorry uh animal warriors of the kingdoms uh articulation um was just wonderful to just, like finally have in our hands but everything that i've seen from uh savage crucible and the way they've talked about them and the intent around the engineering mm -hmm. i i mean i'm expecting a lot and I suspect that they're going to deliver because um, those things look fantastic. They're going to be able to um, just do things um, you pose up on the shelf in a way that, you know, kind of like um, we talk uh, the Street Fighter, the Jada stuff. Like I had no idea that those figures would move the way they do. Um, I feel like it's going to be in that area. And what's weird to me is that it's not just the one buck like the the fish people have are, are completely different shapes but they're still able to get them into these these poses and so mm -hmm. um speaking of like they came they they brought waves upon waves right they launched with yeah. like knew that we would see multiple waves they only were moving with a couple of them but they've already showed us like there's plenty to come which i respect and appreciate when it comes to the whole kickstarter thing because because, you know, this isn't like they're making a commitment to toys beyond these first couple of waves. And so that that whole line excites me the most. And I can't wait for those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, yeah. To that one as well. <laughs> yeah, just, Bro, yeah, it was like just to echo that. Sorry. Sorry, Berserk, but just like it was almost too much. Like mm -hmm. there was so much. And it's I'm true. like, I can't I cannot like. I backed this beast of the Mesozoic and it was a, it was a lot. And I'm like, I cannot go like $800 on this Savage Cruise. Well, I can't, it's just yeah. like my money's elsewhere. But so I pick and choose. I, I've definitely narrowed down the ones that I wanted. And that's the beauty of it is I can narrow it down, but I cannot wait for that Savage Cruise Bowl as well. Dude, those, those, uh, those uh, water, the fish people, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I love crafty and yes. Uh -huh. And they're going to merge so well with your mythic legions and stuff like, Oh, so I, yeah, I have hopes for sure. Yeah. Let's go. 
<laughs> Sorry, Ronald. Go ahead. I mean, Berserk. Go ahead. <laughs> so it's all right. Either or. Answer to both of them. Um, let's see. I gotta quickly check my phone. What have I backed? How many campaigns? So yeah, I'm looking definitely looking forward to the Wall XD. Yeah. You know, uh, for for three, I should have. You know, got the details right there. Damn. And you know, I got space up there as well. You know, the whole room is if, if, if there there's some on the floor, but I'm gonna have them on wall soon enough. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to that campaign. I didn't back most of my my um I'm kind of really steeped in the fantasy sci-fi thing. So the brick wall things don't work. But like to me, the Wall XD is is like I want to see more of that. I want to see exactly. more of sort of dio and play sets mm -hmm. and even accessories. Like I could see some somebody going, I want to build accessories for these figures that you all have that are different than what you you already have, you know, like and and because I, that's again to to go back to the notion of like, of the potential of a Kickstarter to be able to launch something that wouldn't otherwise normally exist. Like you know, you're not going to go to Target to buy, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, an empty wall. Like you're not. That looks that <laughs> dope and that's extensible for photographers. And so um, I think it's a perfect place for it. And I really want to see um, Wall XD just sort of like blow up so that other people can go like, huh. Yeah. What else could we do? So, well, yeah. First of all, it was like it's our homie, right? High mm -hmm. school creations is our homie, mm -hmm. so I definitely want to see him succeed. But at the same time, I want to see what his next one is going to be, and yep. the next one after that, yep. and the one yep. after that for sure. That's why I'm back. Yeah, we definitely need more options in in terms of dios. Yeah, you know, get the get the perfect background we need, and you know, there's there's a few stuff going on right now you know we got street humans that are going on they you know they tried once to do the campaign it didn't go that well you know they came back at it much better presentation mm -hmm. much more clear view of what we're getting um who else legendary if you haven't put your your back in i'm pretty sure they they're gonna have back your kit you know if you're coming in late but definitely look into that one uh one that Nobody brought up yet that I am a hundred percent in, and I am patiently waiting. Is the uh, Robo Skull MK2? Oh yeah, yeah, wow! <laughs> I <Yeah. laughs> the yeah. one single thing I'm most looking forward to. Like it, they could take mm. as much time as they want, as long as I get it in my hands. You know, to have a a basically a flying tank that looks like a skull oh. and fits either you know three and three quarters or six inch figures. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. I <laughs> can't get here soon enough. <laughs> I got the, you know, the the display stand for it. So I got the book that comes with it. I'm I'm excited. That's awesome. I'm gonna have yeah, it. you're right. That thing is special. And um like like the Wall XD, like I, I would love to see these independent creators come up with like, you know, new things like again, this vehicle that we would do and everything that you named, like I wish toy companies would do that more. Like the it works with these figures and these figures. Of course, it makes sense for that line. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wish I wish Mattel would figure that out a little bit more. They've got a five point five inch line for He Man and a and a seven inch. It's like maybe find a way to make playsets and vehicles that work for both. And anyway, they did it for Eternia, but that thing's cool. Yeah, no, I, I know they don't want us to. They want us just to buy their stuff, but we also buy other stuff, and we want it all to go together. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. The first thing I'm doing is putting a pink skull on that uh, Robo Skull tag. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. I got to show them. Hell yes. And, um, and yeah, you know, plunder, the plunder longs are coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, the, I, the last update was they're getting the replacement parts this week. And they're swapping them out and then starting to send them. I I would be surprised if we saw them by the end of this month. Oh, I'd be pleasantly surprised. But I, I'm thinking more like into November. Just hmm. my assumption. Yeah, no, but definitely soon. <laughs> definitely Hopefully soon, soon after this drop. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's there. It's you just check your app, check your 
Uh, who did they send it? They sent it through UPS with me, so I got all the updates. I know exactly yeah. when it was. <laughs> when it was here. <laughs> you know a guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to you know, support your union workers. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> all right, and you know, got all the topics. You know, I wrote down. You guys have anything else we um want to cover? Anything that has you know, to up yet? there is. There was a question that I didn't know how to ask, uh, but I was wondering, have you guys backed something that hasn't funded? No? Uh, no. Nothing? Not for me. Like like um, Rick was saying, like, I, I've done my homework. You know, I'm in the community. I'm in the groups. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if something pops up, you know, I, I try to warn everybody in the Discord about that uh, Omega Studios. But... You know, nobody from my groups backed it, but yeah, I remember that. I remember you talking about that a long time ago. Um, I there was one that I backed that didn't fund, um, and I was hoping for it. It was the Adele dinosaurs that they were gonna do. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought an Adele. Like they're beautiful and everything, um, but yeah, it, it was. I, I understand why now it wasn't back. So <laughs> let's just say that. But um, yeah, but I did, I did back it. other things like comic books, books like Frank Cho books. You know, um, his own. Like I've I've done that. Yeah, how but most of the time they're fun. Yeah, What's how that? Long ago was that campaign that that didn't fund or didn't you know fulfill their? Uh, when was that? That was a few years ago. Been, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think that was. Honestly, I think that was my first Kickstarter um, before uh, the Tawny Max spawn, and that one didn't fund. And I was like, well, what's going on here? But I don't know. I, I think they were just something. asking way too much. What's that, Cloud? Maybe. I, I, I backed something that didn't fund. It wasn't on Kickstarter. It was the goddamn no. engine of vengeance. <laughs> so, <laughs> so mad about that. I left it until the everybody was backing out and i left it until the very last minute and now i go and my thing just says goal not met or something and i'm like <laughs> damn it and i i told my wife i was like you know what so actually when it failed i bought a sentinel ronin warrior that i bought the inferno <laughs> armor to make myself feel better <laughs> but i told her i was like you know what i'll let it go if they give me a danny catch ghost rider on his bike and that hasn't mm. happened, so I'm mm. not letting anything go, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, since you say that, um, yeah, I did back the um, Jurassic Park Mattel crowdfund oh. oh, for gate. the gate. Yeah, um, yeah that was, that was a, uh, a sloppy. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It was a sloppy just thrown together. I don't know what they were doing there. Um, but I did back it because I did want the gate. I wanted the gate and the buck, but... It was it was really weird. Uh, that one didn't fund, and then what was the other one? Oh, the Rancor. I backed the Rancor. Oh my! Uh, yeah. um, that was that another really poor campaign, though. Yeah. That's if they crazy. just stuck with just the Rancor, like that's that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Just Rancor, oh. big ass monster. Let's that, go. That's, that's kind of all they were offering us too. So. <laughs> You know, and like everybody's like, "What's the tier unlocks?" Blah blah blah. Like, who cares? You get a freaking rancor. Like, let's go. It's but. the same with the giant man. Is they yeah. showed the tiers of the extra heads, and it's where are they figures? Why isn't it this? And it's like it's just you're it's two hundred dollars. Exactly. That's it. It's just the figure. Do you want it? It's, yes. Get it. <laughs> well, it, it's got some dope alternate heads. I mean, honestly, the detail in that thing alone, like all the fingers move. Like, Oh, yeah. Have you seen the way the heads change? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Engineering. So cool. Like, cool. I'm, not, I'm not backing it. I've I've moved away from Marvel Legends. Me too. If I was still in Legends, I, I absolutely oh, would want one of those. 100%. It's fantastic. 100%. X-Men. Give me something X-Men and you can pull me back in. The mutants have always been my thing, but Avengers are a close second. And even I am still tempted to be like, see what I can do to make 200 bucks real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as far as the um, the Jurassic Park gates, like 
I'm pretty sure it did fund, didn't it? Like, I don't know where like, <laughs> it, like, it went up like $3 million or something. Bro, I was in the Discord <laughs> that night, and me and Cooper Steve were talking about it. You were there, right? I was no, there, you yeah, weren't there. I was there. I remember oh, that. You were. Um, and uh, yeah, dude, like, I could tell it wasn't funny. And then, like, 12 midnight hit, it was like up to like two like 1.5 million funding everything backed unlocked i'm like what the heck just happened and yeah it was a glitch or something but yeah, i got cool. a screenshot there's proof i've seen it <laughs> you know it's funny that you mentioned that because to go back to cyberzoic real quick we kind of glossed over it but that that kind of happened with cyberzoic in that like all of a sudden um, a little after a week they hit um the their initial limit with a huge like jump and then they sent out the message. David sent out a message saying, like, yeah, we, we have an investor who's like believes in the line so much that they're putting all this money into it. And I, I, I kept hearing um, he didn't really spell it out, but um, it, what what he said was something like the, the investor. We have an investor who believes in the line and the concept so much that they, they brought us over our initial funding um, uh, target. And so, um, so in this case, it was real. There was like a large, true lump sum of money that was put into Cyberzoic. But for me, like, that's interesting because you know you're saying Jesse that you're like really into um, uh, the Dino Riders. I, I wonder and suspect like how much of it is just someone who really is excited that there's a possibility that that's there. There have been you know people uh, hypothesizing and sort of theorizing and as to who it might be but um at the end of the day that's a great sign that like we're gonna get more like this person is really into the notion of cyberzoic um that uh it sounds like you know they were willing to put in money this wasn't i don't it didn't sound like oh we just want a bunch of figures um <laughs> so anyway i i love that no. stuff i'm like intrigued by that yeah. stuff and you know uh creative v studio obviously this is their new line they've teased that they were doing other yeah. lines like beast of the cenozoic um so this is like a long haul thing and i'm excited to sort of see where cyberzoic for sure well the thing with me is it's hitting the nostalgia right like yeah. that's that was my childhood was dinosaurs yeah. and fighting humans and yeah. so well, right after they hit that then that's when they revealed that smilodon that had that very classic dino riders mm -hmm. deco and style so that's pull it up ronald can you go on the website there i want to see it let's go <laughs> he's excited oh man i have no idea how to show the viewers what we're talking about <laughs> no where's the he's he, you're still a new host i get it i'm breaking your balls Three hundred and two thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars pledged so uh i may have missed out misspoke earlier but it did fund right cloud you have it up? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, their their uh, their goal was two hundred and five thousand. They hit three hundred two yeah. eight four six um, out of nine hundred twenty five backers. Seventeen days to go. Damn, that Dilophosaurus is gonna be mine, baby. I want it. <laughs> that. I want that. Like, I think I want that more than the dragon, but the dragon is definitely like there. Oh, and then what is it? The uh, I'll. Alberta, sir. It's not the Alberta. Is it? This one right here. Ah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. The reward okay. set five, the Akilobator. <laughs> yeah, that, that made me laugh mm. too. Akilobator. Well, they had it on on uh, on display. What was it at San Diego, right? Is this it? And yeah, there that right. one they had on display. Oh, that one yeah. was dope too. With yeah. The, uh, the the ray what's it called razor hound or something i don't know i just know it's cool when i got it there's a dynonicus there's some builders yeah. this one's pretty cool oh yeah that's the one what is it oh yeah die brought, brought it something yeah, yeah i want it the 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 that's what it I looks want it. like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, it looks like they're that's their 320k stretch mm. goal, and I mean that means they're like 20k away from from that. It's almost there already. Oh, There's yeah. still over two weeks. Yeah, let's they go. can get there. 
Yeah. So I'm sorry, you guys, I have to leave, but thank you, Berserk, for having me. Um, duty awaits. I got to go. But thank you for having me on. Don't be a butthole. Go back to Kickstarters. If you if you love it and your and your wallet can take it, there's no you know, just do it. But anyways, because the fun of it is when you see like like arriving and you see like the pictures going up, you're like, oh, it's gonna be mine, baby. It's gonna be on my doorstep like eh, any minute. So yeah. that's the fun in it as well. You get excited about it. But yeah, it's fun, you guys. Cloud Brick. Zerk, I'll see you guys. I got to bounce. All right. right on. Thank Take you. Care. See you. Bye. All right. Let's, uh, you, um, everybody ready to leave? Or we yeah. still got more? Well, it's 11 o'clock over here. I'm, my yeah. wife's probably wondering what I'm yelling about in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure when you come up, you're like, dinosaurs. We're yelling about dinosaurs. <laughs> yelling about dinosaurs. You don't understand. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna start heading now. You know, thanks, thank everybody for joining me. Um, Jesse's already gone, but yeah, you know, I'll talk to him later. You know, uh, lots of interesting stuff going on. Um, same order, I guess. Well, cloud first. Okay. Yeah, or, I am. I am on Instagram at cloud underscore network. I am apparently very popular in the Mythic Legions Cabal on Facebook. And you can find me in the Enablers Discord and the Toy Migos Discord. Great. And you break. That's great. Uh, reminder. Thank you, Cloud. I am also on Instagram. I kind of forget to tell people that. Brick does something on Instagram. And I'm also on the same Discords that, that Cloud is on, um, the Enablers, Toy Migos. Um, I'm on the Lost Cause Collective too, and um, the Geek Dad Life one. Uh, so um, I'm around, and as far as the channel goes, if you just go to YouTube and look at Brick Something, or actually if you go to BrickSomething.com, it'll put you right to the channel. Every Sundays I do the Brick Something News, um, which really isn't a news show because we end up talking about anything that we saw that week, even if it was like <laughs> five years old, just because I want to geek out with someone about some nerdy stuff. So um, that's on Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Pacific or 7.30 Eastern and everywhere in between. Um, and then, you know, just just I'd say if you're curious about what else is on the channel, I do shorts all the time with these kind of fun little figure turnarounds. I do videos. I do a walk talk. Um, but it's kind of all over the place. So the best way to do it would be to go over there, subscribe, and um, just look out for the notifications and the community tab. So, and thanks for having me, man. I'm so happy to finally be here on Fig Bunker. Yeah, no, great to have you. You know, I've, I've been waiting for the, the right topic and you know, yeah. finally came up. And I'm like, yes, finally. Uh, um, but you had me on first, so I guess you won there. <laughs> oh, no, no winning, no losing. We're all nerding out. It's fun. Alrighty, and for me, you know, Berserk, Berserk69, I'm on the I'm Instagram, YouTube. Did I change my name again? I don't know. It's I'm brand new at this. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 18, I'm still I'm still learning stuff. It's it's like that's life. It's just a journey. Yeah. You learn stuff every day. Some of us learn a little faster than others, and others, you know, takes us forever. You'll get there. But, well, <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. And, you know, anywhere, big bunker. Um, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Uh, this will go up soon. I'll see you. Fantastic. Let me...